All right, LSU fans, welcome back into the LSU Film Room brought to you by Community Coffee. As you can see, we've got sophomore quarterback Max Johnson here with us for this week's episode. Max, you ready to dive in? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right, we're going to actually go back into last year, and I'm probably going to get accused of putting a Florida uh, Gator clip here at the beginning of this uh, film room here. We're going to go back to your first start against Florida last year. Before we get to the play, what was that like? Obviously, you had played some in that year, but your first start was going to be on the road in the swamp in a place that I know you know very well. Obviously, your dad playing there, that was a rival for him when he was in college. So what was it like for you to get your first start in that building? Yeah, I kind of was just getting my feet wet. I got, you know, I got to play a little bit uh, throughout the season. Right. But, um, yeah, it was just my first start in the swamp. It was pretty cool. So. Yeah. And absolutely, and then you uh, get the victory. Let's watch some plays that led to that victory, and, and one here was a really nice touchdown pass from you. Kind of explain exactly what's going on in this play because I know there's a lot of movement, a lot of guys misdirection here. Yeah, this is just uh, a rollout for us. I really wasn't supposed to pull up, um, but uh, you know the guy got outside of Cole, and I was you know able to pull up and get my feet set, and you know kind of float one over the defender to, to Jerry Jenkins for a touchdown. All right, and you were telling us before we started to record, this was this was the first pass you think you've ever thrown to Jure. Like practice, two a days, outside of pregame warm up, maybe the first ball you've ever given Jure. Yeah, I think this is kind of what started our our little thing that we had against Florida. I think he had three. Or I'm not sure how many. Oh, no, had three this, this year. You're right. And then uh, we had three this year, which was pretty sweet. You know, you're doing a quarterback film room when he brings his own pointer. I see you have your own pointer here. So so, earlier this year, we did a film room in this room, and Flynn was in here. Matt Flynn was in here. He wouldn't even let me hold the clicker. And I'm the one running the film rooms, and so it's just a quarterback thing. It's okay. You can, hey, anytime you want to point, you've got a red, I've got a green, just let her fly. Yep. I think being a quarterback (laughs) is, you know, kind of being prepared, and, uh, yeah, I'm glad. Matt have one. That's, that's pretty funny, though. Yeah, fullbacks, we're not prepared. Just get us a neck roll and we'll be fine. Yeah, I love it. I love it. All right, let's go to an earlier game this year on the road, Mississippi State, and here comes Cover Zero. And this was their plan all game long. They came in with a plan. You could tell any third down situation, any tight situation, their defense coordinator was automatically going to go to zero. But when you beat Cover Zero, it starts <clears throat> to, uh, to shy the coordinator away from it just a little bit. Really nice individual play, and obviously the offensive line takes care of everything on the right side, but a nice play by you, avoiding the rush, keeping your eyes downfield, and connecting with Kayshawn. Yeah, I think, you know, um, this is a pretty good play call by Coach Pete's. Um, when, when people play cover zero, they, they actually play inside leverage and off coverage, but um, we kind of knew in this game uh, they were going to bring cover zero, and I think we had a plan for it. Um, Ty did a good job of, you know, kind of picking up the blitz, and uh, I had an extra guy that had to, you know, make miss, and um, yeah, Kayshawn made the play made the play for us. Yeah, it is a really nice job by Ty because this is kind of no man's land for him. I mean, he's probably got some responsibilities front side, but obviously the back side shows a little bit quicker there. He's able to go and get a nice cut. And I think that just goes to speak for you know his game the entire year. I think he's gotten better every game, especially in pass protection. I know he's done a good job of running the ball. Um, I think he's understanding you know the pass protections, where to go, and um, I think he's done a good job of kind of chipping and getting out as well. All right, so let me ask you this, like pre-snap wise, okay. You're the quarterback, you see it all, and you've got to get everybody in the right position. You got to know what the coverage is, you got to know what the routes are. You certainly need to know what this front is, what this blitz is. So kind of what goes through your mind when you line up and you see that they're in cover zero? Yeah, I think, well, one, I can actually sight this guy, uh, this defender, so yeah. our receiver won a slant. Um, but really it's just getting the play calling, knowing the motion and understanding the front and you know what they're running behind the front. I think uh, that actually kind of helps uh, pre-snap, but I think really just looking at the safeties is, is a big thing for me. Uh, seeing if they're low or not, they're playing a flat top, or um, I think that just kind of de- determines if they're playing zero or not. And um, yeah, this play beats cover zero, so it was, a, it was a nice play call. All right, gonna pick a play here from the Auburn game, and I know we've talked a lot of Keishon Butte already here in this film room, but sometimes it's pretty easy. Like, you've got a guy that's better than their guy, you're gonna take a quick drop, Get out of your ball, uh, the hand, <clears throat> the ball out of your hands extremely quick here, and hit Kayshawn for a touchdown. Yeah, so we actually, you know, we see this guy kind of roll to the middle of the field. Middle of the field, they start with a too high structure, and um, I, I know that I got this guy one on one, and I just have to beat the safety with the throw. And I think Kayshawn does a good job of kind of getting to that spot um, and you know making a play when there's really not much there. So I think he did a good job of using his hands, and um, you know we came out with seven. 
Obviously, you and Kayshawn have a great uh, rapport on the field. I mean, we can all go back to his record-setting day against Ole Miss last year, certainly other times throughout y'all's time together. Sometimes as a quarterback, and I don't want to say you're predetermining anything, but sometimes as a quarterback, when you see you have a matchup like this, is it as easy to say, I know who my guy is, I'm going to throw it up, and I know my guy's either going to make the play or nobody's going to make the play? 100%. I think anytime it's one-on-one, I'm, you know, I'm taking our guys over their guys all right. the time. Um, I think, you know, we always say 50-50 balls, but I think our guys are, you know, we come up with this thing, it's 80-20 it's balls. I think our guys have done a good job of, you know, kind of going up and being aggressive with it. All right, I mentioned it because y'all know me. We're going to bring some more Florida Gator tape into this film room. And, okay, so full disclosure, I mean, I asked you about this play after the game. I asked Jare about this play after the game. And I know what this motion is. We used to call it ghost motion. I don't know. We call it ghost as well. Okay, see, yeah. it's, it's, it's almost one of those universal football yeah. terms, right? It's yep. ghost motion. And it's kind of ghost because, like, he's, he's just not ever really supposed to be in the route concept here. I mean, he's supposed to really just pull people away to open up really this throw because of exactly what's going on here. Like, okay, that guy's got to get across, and you're hoping for that right there to kind of pop open. This certainly can pop open as well, but it's window dressing. Yeah, we, we really haven't lined up much in this formation. Um, but I think, you know, my first progression is to throw Jack Best the ball right here on this corner out and then to D. Lee. We really didn't work this throw much in practice, to be honest, but I, I kind of just felt pressure and, you know, Dre was, Dre was ready for the ball and he, yeah, he, he made the play when the ball was in his hands. So, yeah, I mean, this was a fourth down, too. I mean, yeah. this is this is fourth and one on the goal line. You're under center. Like you said, this isn't something that y'all have done a whole lot of. And, and then you have a missed block here at the right tackle position. You've got a guy flashing right now. And even though that does come open, we'll slow it down here. Even though when Jack does come open, look, you've already had to make the turn because you have not only pressure from the guy that was missed, but you have the free defender and you have a defensive back. You have three guys barreling down on you so it doesn't really allow you to see Jack right there and so you throw it to the guy that probably never in the history of this play has caught this ball yeah we've we I actually never threw this guy the ball in practice or no you no know, walkthroughs or anything but it was just kind of cool how it happened so kudos kudos to Jure for you know being ready for no it. that's kudos to both of you because again you've got to know that you've got this pressure and you, you have to kind of bail on there, there's two routes there's really two routes in this play and you know what they are but you knowing you have to bail on them you also have to know okay Dre is eligible I can't throw it to him even though I haven't done it before and like you said he continues to go he doesn't give up on the play I mean this is a heck of a play by both of y'all yep. yes sir I mean fourth down this is this is a game-changing play yeah this is I mean, you don't get this who knows you know how the game yeah. ends up yeah 100 percent all right another play from the Louisiana Monroe game uh, this was one Cody Warsham in the press box got pretty excited about. Uh, look, you're rolling to your right, which we found out you do enjoy rolling to your right, something you're very comfortable with, but you've got a free defender. This guy is obviously blitzing off the edge, and he's kind of in your face right now as soon as you kind of get started into this role. So kind of talk about your thought process when you see someone free like this knowing you're rolling to the right. Yeah, I think this is actually a pre-snap thing too. I, I, to be honest, I kind of felt this guy was going to come. This guy was capped. Safety yeah. cap this nickel. So I actually had a feeling this guy was going to come. Um, so I got my depth and I was able actually to make a miss um, with my feet, which was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it was, you know, it was, it was a pretty cool play. I rolled to my right and, uh, you know, Brian made this happen. And it was actually blocked by number 33. This actually made this happen as well. All right, LSU fans, that is quarterback Max Johnson. This has been the LSU Film Room brought to you by Community Coffee. We will see you next week.